Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel today. I think I got another great video for you lined up because I wanted to take you through the GC8 installation. So how do you install the GC8 and how do you upgrade that to the latest versions? And it could even be that you already have a GC8, but you want to know how to upgrade it uh, to the latest versions, the latest USB drivers, the latest display link drivers, etc. Well, I have here actually a GC8, and so I will also do a little bit of unboxing here so you can see what is inside the box of the of the GC8. And then I will show you in the MTR windows, I will show you the administration UI where you can find the different drivers for the GC8. Uh, because I still get a lot of questions about that. Also when visiting customers, uh, visiting and doing demonstration, etc. So how do you keep that software uh, up to date with the latest and greatest? Again, so I have here a GC8. So let me open it up for you. We got manuals, eh? uh, well, manuals, at least there are some descriptions, etc. We don't need them now. Probably audio that is being locked eh? because I have noise block enabled. So you don't hear any of me making that noise. So if people are questioned, what am I using here? I'm using for my videos a P15, a 4K camera, I got speakers inside. It's a really great device, the Studio P15. It's similar to the R30, which I will do an uh, unboxing also uh, later on in the video, uh, but it has that 120 degree. Uh, the P15 is limited to a 90 degree camera, but works perfect for some streaming if you want to do that. Uh, so I got that here on the, on the tripod. If people are interested, uh, I can do a video later on on my home setup uh, here. So you got a little bit of an idea what's going on here in my, uh, in my home office where I'm creating the videos. So again, very nice noise block AI. So it recognizes noise like this. And I will just block just something in between, eh? because I always really like those different technologies and I'm trying to demonstrate them as much as, uh, as possible. Here we got the GC8. Eh? This is 8 inch screen. Uh, so we got here the, uh, the, the sensor eh? to, uh, to sense if somebody is walking into the room, a eh? proximity sensor underneath. Let me open that up. We got here some connectors. Eh? So we got on the right side for you we got here the power connector we got a usb 3.0 connector this can be used for maybe a sink uh, at the table or 3 c60 we have here an hdmi ingest and so you can have that hdmi ingest cable on the table and we got here the usb c and so let me try to show you that right here and the usb c is the one which we need uh, for the connecting to the PC. And so as again, uh, you can use that with the USB cable, uh, the 10 meters fiber optical cable that is coming uh, with, the, with the GCA, but there's also extension kits. And so I created some videos earlier on that. I can create a shortcut there. So if you're looking for that video, uh, so you're able to find that uh, quickly. Very nice. The GC8 at the table, very robust device, nicely sitting, not too big, eh? 8 inch, but very nicely sitting and robust at the table. What is more inside the box? Let me show you that. So we got power supply, of course. So it's got a separate power supply. And cables, so we got a USB cable, very nicely. So this is to uh, hook it up with uh, with the SYNC 60, for example, or with any 
Team Certified USB speaker you got. And there is an HDMI ingest cable coming inside the box. And that's it. All right, the GC8. Uh, so how do you hook it up? Well, as I said, it's just a manner of connecting the USB-C cable from the screen and hook it up to the computer. But in case you have it connected, or maybe you have already a, a GC8 uh, connected, how do you update that device? Uh, because as I said, get a lot of questions about that. So I will take you through that step by step. Got some different resources also uh, where you can download those drivers, but I will put them as usual. I will put them all in the comments. And again, uh, if you like this type of videos uh, or you want to give some comments or you got some questions, just put them under the video uh, and I will try to answer them as good as possible. And of course, hopefully you will enjoy it during a cup of coffee. Now let me jump in my computer now to show you where you can find those drivers and where you can install them on the MTR for Windows. So here we go. Here we are on the GC8. So on the left side you see the GC8 screen and on the right side you can see a screen. Now the screen is not that important at the moment. Eh? Let's focus on the GC8 because I want to get into the admin interface eh, to check whether my GC8 has the latest drivers as well as for USB, but also for the display link driver. So let me show you that. So first off, you go to more, we go to settings, here you log in with the password you have configured uh, for your Teams room device. All right, then we go to windows. Okay, we go to the administration interface. We log in there. And here we go. We now arrived at the, yeah, the administration side eh, of the MTR for Windows. So here we can check under the hood the different drivers on the device, but also the drivers for the GC8. Now, first off, eh, let me show you where you can find those drivers. So you go here to the device manager. Let me go there. And let me show you when the GC8 is connected, where you can exactly find the drivers. Eh? So you need to go here to the universal USB uh, serial bus devices. You go to the Poly ULLCC DFU runtime. This is the one which is the USB drivers for the GC8. So we right click on that, we look at the properties and then the drivers. And here you can find that I got an old version running on my GC8. So you got to make sure you are on the latest version. And it's all, it is part of this compatibility. Eh? So you got to make sure you're up to date. But I still see that, that a lot of those GC8s are not up to date, eh? which could lead to incompatibility issues or anything like that. So you need to make sure you are on that latest version. Now, the other driver, so this is the first driver. So I will show you a bit later where you can upgrade that very quickly. The other driver is the display driver under display adapters. You go to the MTR ULCC, that is the GC8. You right click on that, we go to properties. And again, under drivers, you can find the display link driver, the 10.2.6943, etc. This is up to date. So you got to be on that 10.2 or higher. If you are on 9.x, you got to make sure you upgrade so i will show you in a bit how to upgrade that but please check that out uh, it's very important to keep that uh, everything uh, up and running to stay compatible with the latest uh, and greatest now how do we update this and uh, so there are different routes to upgrade the first one is you go here to the settings we go here to update security services we go to windows update now, what is important, it usually says that everything is up to date. But what you got to do now is view optional drivers, driver updates. And here you got to select those additional updates. Here you can find the additional USB drivers for the GC8. Very important. Just tick them all and the system will find out which drivers are needed, where and make sure that everything is up to date. You click on download and install. Now, what is important if you do that, it could be that the GC8 
shows a black screen, maybe for 15 to 20 minutes. So go for lunch, get an additional cup of coffee, etc. But make sure you leave the system as it is. Don't unplug the power from the GC8, etc. Just leave it as it is and you will see that after the driver update, uh, the system will come back. So this is the first route if you want to update. If you don't see that updates here in the Windows updates, maybe you add there's a specific server configured, etc. The other route is you go and let me go here, for example, to Google. Now on Google, we search for the Poly GC8 manual 1.4. Just one of these uh, things in there. And the first thing you will notice is here at the top is manual update to G. C8 to 1.4. You will come at a link, and of course, I will put this link in the comments, eh? so don't worry. If you can't find it through uh, Google, I will make sure you will have it. Eh? So it's, it will be in the comments, uh, you can find it there. Now, here you find exactly what the latest release is, and here you can see the 22.1 or higher eh, is the latest one. But also there's a manual upgrade procedure here. So you will find a link here, which points to the Poly website. So you can go there, it says specifically for the GC8, you go to software releases, and here you can also find that software upgrade. You download the package, all right? And let me put it here on my machine, so I can show you that. Let me go here to show that in folder. Now, you will find that package right here, you unpack it, and in there, GC8 version 1.4, you'll find an install file or an install.bot. And, uh, and that install.bot, uh, you need to click on that, you install it under admin rights, and that will make sure that it will push out those latest GC8 drivers into the different directories. So this is sort of the manual route, eh? in case your, yeah, your GC8 or your MTR compute doesn't have eh, that, uh, that contact with Windows Update, you can always force that manually. All right, so these are concerning the USB drivers, eh? so make sure that that is compatible with the MTR for Windows. Now, the other drivers are the display link drivers. You also need to make sure that these are up to date. And so in case you're not on that 10.2 of the display link uh, drivers, uh, you can first check if they're on their Windows update. So you go to the same location, settings, you go all the way down, Windows update, uh, and try to find if there are any display link updates. If it's still not up to date, uh, it doesn't uh, push out, then you can go to the display link website and just download uh, that driver, the 10.2, as you can see right here. I will put, again, I will put those links in the comments, in the description, uh, so you're able to find these very quickly. Now, this was just a short video uh, to bring you up to date in case you received a new GC8 uh, or you got a current one and maybe you got some compatibility issues uh, or you got uh, sometimes black screens, etc. Make sure uh, that this device is up to date and then you should have a good working and stable environment. In case you got any questions uh, about GC8 or MTR Windows, let me know in, uh, in the comments. And uh, of course, if you like this type of video, uh, I would say just subscribe to my channel and I will keep you updated on the latest and greatest Thank you for watching and looking forward to see you in the next video.